about a year ago from the time that I first posted this video, I introduced a site that I'd been working on for a while at hexameter.co. It's a site focused around Latin scansion, so how Latin poetry relies on a specific order of long and short syllables for its poetic structure. I want to use this space to talk about how the past year went and uh, look at some data to see whether it works. Spoiler, I'm pretty sure it does. And then propose future additions to the site. So my main reason for creating this site was to give a place where students, teachers, and anyone really could practice scanning Latin poetry with a couple of stipulations. One, it has to provide instant feedback. Two, it should be adaptive. So instead of getting random lines as a beginner, you'd start with the easiest lines and then progress to the harder lines once you've mastered the basic concepts. And yes, lines of poetry do have different difficulty levels for scanning. And third, um, there should be some sort of reward system. So Bob Cape, uh, the chief reader for the AP Latin exam right now, wrote in his review of the 2014 AP exam that many students had problems with the scansion questions, and that for the second straight year, they have noticed that several programs do not seem to teach scansion. So I hope to be able to provide programs with an opportunity to do scansion well and easily. So when you go to hexameter.co, and you should go there right now and register for a free account if you haven't done so already, you are presented with a single line of poetry. You can use marking tools from the workbench up here if you want to, but this isn't required. To check your answer, you type in the order of dactyls and spondees here for the first four feet, and then submit. If you get the line right, like I did here, then your rating goes up, which means that the line's own rating goes down, and so let's get a line wrong. Okay, so now my rating goes down, which means that the line's own rating goes up. And even though it told me the answer, uh, because I got it wrong, I can uh, try the line again for more practice and without penalty. So that's pretty awesome. On my profile page, I have a whole lot of different stats with my dashboard and stats tab. And there are also badges that you can earn and collect for reaching certain milestones. And this is part of the reward system I talked about earlier. And finally, I have set up a feature for teachers to see how different classes are doing. So you can easily collect all of your students in one classroom and they can compete against each other or work together to get better. I also have a bunch of different authors. So we started with Virgil, Lucretius, and Ovid, and I've added Horace and Statius to the list. And finally, if you're a student in AP Latin, you can practice just the lines from the Virgil portion of the AP syllabus. I've made sure to include a page with video tutorials uh, for scanning hexameter poetry, along with a static page of rules, suggestions, and hints. So now some stats. Does it work? In just the past year, almost 3,000 users have registered for the site, and those users have attempted more than 175,000 lines of poetry. So this blows away all expectations I had for the past year. And it's pretty amazing for a website on such a, a narrow and focused topic. A few more numbers. Um, users have spent more than 5,000 hours scanning lines of poetry, and they've earned over 12,500 badges. I have more than 8,000 active lines of poetry available for practice. So there's a lot to choose from, and a lot of lines at different levels to provide challenges to users of all ability levels. About a third of my users are students enrolled in a classroom, which means that teachers are taking advantage of this tool. And there are close to 150 classrooms from almost 100 teachers. And finally, over 110,000 lines have been scanned correctly to just 67,000 incorrect for a 62% success rate, so roughly around 5 eighths. You know, I'm okay with this success rate, and I think it goes a long way towards showing that the site works to deliver appropriately rated lines to my users. If the success rate were too high, then lines would be rated as more difficult than they are. Conversely, if the success rate were too low, then users would get frustrated. So success at a task is important for growth, and lines would be rated lower than their difficulty level. But plus, my hope is that hexameter.co would work as a growth model, so users would naturally get a little bit more than half right as they grow in their ability levels. My rating system seems to work well, and scanning lines of hexameter seems to be a pretty good model for this rating system. It's like Goldilocks in her porridge. Not too cold, not too hot, but just right. So some more evidence on whether the site works to grow your scanning skill. 
Here's a typical student user with over 400 lines attempted. This is not mine, by the way. I don't know who this person is. Uh, you can see that the rating level of the student over the 400 lines, starting off slowly with about uh, 1,000 or 1,100 rating mark, and then getting better and plateauing around 1,500 for a while before jumping up to the 1,800, 1,900, and close to the 2,000 level. And this is all the more impressive when you consider that this user is seeing some of the most difficult lines in Latin poetry with a rating around 1900. So I'll get to these lines in a little bit. Rating progressions like this are pretty standard throughout the site. Essentially, if users get several hundred lines of practice, with or without outside help, their ability to scan poetry grows. I've seen this with my own students too. I give them a lot of help initially, but over the course of the year as they practice, they become better and scanning becomes second nature to them and they don't need my help. So that's empowering, being able to have your students practice on their own and grow and not having to worry about grading and giving feedback as the teacher because the site does that automatically. So what works? Patience. If you attempt more lines, you get better. And what I'm seeing is that after several hundred lines, users get pretty comfortable and good at doing all but the most difficult ones, and more on these in a bit. Also, I found that giving my own students a little bit of time at the beginning of each class to scan and help out their fellow students not only builds in the general classroom scanning ability, but it also brings the class together. And getting students to help other students is so good for their own individual growth. And finally, I've set goals for my own students to attain each quarter. They must get a certain number of lines correct by a certain date. And the fact that I'm not focused on success rate helps those who struggle the most, and doing it throughout the year builds the skill and makes it more permanent. So a few more tidbits. Here are the most difficult lines on the site, with a minimum of 50 attempts, so I can more or less assume that the rating is accurate. So this one is from Lucretius. Uh, there are two elisions, including the M, to a vowel elision, a consonantal I in yacteris, and we need to treat the I in plebeia as a consonant as well. So plebeia modifies the ablative weste. So this one is from Virgil's Georgics, book four. Uh, and again, there are two elisions, and well, this one's really tough because there are a whole lot of Greek names. And finally, this one is from Horace's Epistles, book two. Uh, this seems rather straightforward, but a lot of people have treated the AE in Aenea uh, of bronze as a diphthong uh, when these two vowels are separate, especially for words relating to bronze. And I can tell you that the four of the easiest patterns are these. So notice that four spondees is by far the easiest scantron pattern to get. And uh, here are the four hardest ones to get right. So where do I go from here? So I'd love to add more authors, even possibly Greek authors, if I get the right uh, assistance. Throughout the year, more lines will become active, and I'll get an even greater uh, bit of data. I hope to have a lot more people use the site, with more users coming, uh, and then there will be more exact ratings for the lines, and better results. So Hexameter.co is funded in part by ads and donations from users, and the rest I cover with my own money. So I hope that the support continues, but I strongly encourage you, if you use the site, to consider giving a donation. Any amount is fine, but a small amount monthly would go a long way towards supporting the site, making it viable well into the future, and it would allow me to add to the content. If you use the site already, thanks for your time and information. If you don't, check it out, especially if you have scanned before. Teach scanning in your classes or just like the process. My own students enjoy it quite a bit, and judging from the user data, so do a whole lot of other people. Gratias Tibiago.